All right, we are back. We've got Mike Russo on the phone again from Brazil. Mike, you are there, correct? Yes. Excellent. All right. I was saying before that going into the cage to fight Fabricio Verdum in Brazil, Brazil, his home country, this has got to be intimidating, right? I mean, that's that seems like a pretty big thing. I mean, Verdum is kind of like a, uh, a pretty a dominant figure in the sport, and it's, it's home crowd, home turf. I mean, are you scared? Are you worried? Or I mean, what do you think is going to happen? No, I don't look at it that way. Uh, you know, obviously I'm going in here, uh, you know, I'm the big underdog. Um, you know, I have a lot of respect for uh, for Bricio, but I look at it as a, a great opportunity for me uh, this Saturday to, uh, you know, to hopefully get a win and really show that I belong amongst uh, the best in the UFC uh, with the heavyweights. Yeah, I mean that's. Got, I mean, definitely, we'll put you up there with the best of the best. Uh, and you, so what's your record with the UFC right now? Four and zero. Four and zero. I mean, so undefeated in the UFC. And what? How does this come about? Like, is this one of those? I mean, do they tell you like, hey, we're looking at a few fighters to fight Verdum, or looking at, uh, you know, or do they just come to you and say, hey, we've decided you're the next guy? Does Dana White do it? Like, what's the process where you get selected to fight in such a big fight like this? How does that all happen? Um, you know, I, I really couldn't tell you. I mean, all I can tell you is uh, I have nothing to do with it. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, my manager, Monty Cox, he just called up one day in uh, January. He's like, uh, Joe um, wants you to face uh, Fabricio in Brazil in, uh, in June. So I was like, cool. Yeah, you're just like, hell yeah. I mean, that's what that's a fighter, man. You guys are like a different breed of people. Because me, for one, if somebody said that they want you to punch somebody in the face, it's like, or get punched in the face, I would already say no. But certainly if they're like, hey, we want you to fight somebody who's just like a monster in the cage, I certainly would have, wouldn't have just said sure. I would have at least thought about it, watched some footage, talked to some guys. And you're just that badass that you're just like, yeah, if they want me to fight, I'll fight. I'll be there. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just... I mean that's that's why uh, you know I'm in the sport. I mean, all the time we spend training, and uh, you know, and then I have another job. I mean, I mean this is what it's all about. It's for these opportunities, and uh, and you have to take advantage of them. You know, you you don't get that many of them. So when you have uh, you know a great opponent like uh, Fabricio, you know, and a win could really do a lot for my career. I mean, you uh, you have to jump on it. Yeah, totally. I mean, a win would just, I mean, it seems like it would just turn your career around. I mean, you'd become one of the big names in, in the UFC for sure. One of those, you know, top guys up there, which would be huge. On our text line here, somebody said, uh, do you feel like your stand-up or ground game is stronger? That's what Gabby wants to know. Um, you know, for this fight, we've really worked a lot of, uh, on our stand-up. Um, you know, because obvious, uh, you know, Fabricio, he's a, you know, he's a ground, uh, ground wizard, uh, you know, you have to really be careful if I do get a chance to take him down just to, uh, you know, just not too many, make too many mistakes down there, you know, because uh, cause he can catch you. Mm-hmm. Do you think if you, I mean, if you win this fight, I mean, Dos Santos is the champion right now, right? Yes. Do you think you could, I mean, if you make it through Fabricio, do you think you've got a shot at Dos Santos even? I mean, are you willing to take him on? Um, I mean, like I said before, I'll fight anyone that uh, the UFC wants me to fight, but, you know, I really haven't thought about anybody else i mean i have a great uh you know i have a great opponent coming up this saturday so you know i'm just yeah. focused on him and then uh you know whatever happens after that happens that's got to be a pretty big fight too and for uh, everybody that doesn't know it's ufc 147 this saturday eight o'clock here in billing starts on uh, pay-per-view of course you can check it out around town at local bars or just buy it in your basement and uh and party down and watch this fight but what's really cool is fabricio i don't know a ton about his background but i'm gonna guess he grew up like you know living with spiders you know in a, in a jungle training from the uh, the moment you know being beaten with sticks before he could even walk like i'm guessing he lived a life of fighting and like has this just kind of built into him you are like a normal dude you're a cop in chicago you got a two-year-old daughter you got a wife like family man and you also happen to be an ass kicker like that's why i think everybody should root for you it's like you got one guy who's just like a fighter you know it's in his blood and then you got another guy who's a normal red-blooded american who happens to enjoy the sport of mma it's like it's the perfect underdog story and i think everybody should root for you which i'm guessing you probably would agree with (laughs) absolutely um you know but i mean i've been competing you know since i've been in the sixth grade i you know i've been involved in sports and uh 
You know, I'm just, uh, yeah, I but think a, it's a uh, great opportunity at Russell in college. So, I mean, I think a little, everything that I've done, a little you know, up to this point, I think, uh, you know, Saturday night's really going to help. I got to say, Mike, a little Greco-Roman wrestling in, like, high school and college and stuff has got to be a little different than getting beaten with sticks in the jungle, you know, like I'm sure <laughs> Fabrizio was. Yeah, I haven't been chased around in the jungles at all. Yeah, I think they train a little bit differently than we do in our in our sports here. But obviously you're our choice to win this fight uh, this Saturday night. I think it would be just a sweet underdog story and uh, just such an awesome win for you. And, and you sound so eager to take these fights, and you're just – a true. What about a Silva and Franklin too? That's on the uh, the card as well. Who do you think is going to take that? Yeah, that's going to be a, an exciting fight. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, they're both really tough. Uh, you know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good one. We'll, we'll just have to see Saturday. Yeah. And what do you? What's your prediction for your fight with Fabricio? Fabricio says he's going to take you out in the first round. Of course. Do you? What's your prediction? How long do you think the fight's going to go, and how do you see it ending? Um. You know, I could see it going to be a really tough fight, just a you know a grind out type fight. Um, you know, I really just want to put the pressure on them, uh, get them tired, and uh, you know, just stay in there and not make too many mistakes. And uh, you know, if there is an opportunity for for a takedown or uh, you know, obviously I'd love a knockout, but uh, you know, I just think it's going to be a real tough fight. I just got to stay in there, keep my hands up, and. Uh, just really try to not make any mistakes, and if he does, to capitalize on him. Exactly. You know, I'm expecting a, a three three round war. There you go. And I'm going to say, too, if you're not feeling very – you sound confident now, like you're ready to get in the cage, but I think Saturday rolls around, Mike, and you're not confident. I give you permission to bring a knife into the cage, and feel free to use that in the fight in case you need it. But whatever it <laughs> takes. All right, thanks. Whatever it takes, I'd like to see you win this fight. I think everybody, make plans to watch UFC 147 this Saturday night and uh, make sure against uh, Fabricio that you're you're rooting on Mike Russo, the cop from Chicago with a little baby and wife. Are they coming to Brazil to watch or are they watching from Chicago? No, they're back home in Chicago. Uh, okay, so they're back home in Chicago watching uh, Daddy and Hubby fight down in Brazil and Fabricio's home turf. So uh, watch this guy. Root him on and support him at a UFC 147, and let's hope he wins this fight. And, uh, you know, come Monday, everybody knows the name Mike Russell. Mike, good luck, my man. You show uh, Fabricio how we do it here in America, God's country, and uh, do it for us, man. And good luck on Saturday, and uh, congratulations on all the success in your career, Mike. Thanks for joining us. All right, thank you. Take care. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.